kids of Martin County. Today we're going to take a road trip over to J.D. Parker Elementary where our district-wide elementary science fair was. Let's go have a look. I'm Missy Campbell. I teach at Crystal Lake Elementary, and these children are using gears and chains to do a physics experiment. Hi, I'm Sydney Gullickson. I'm an instructional coach at Indian Town Middle School, and today we're here at JD Parker uh, working with some tangrams with Osmo and my friends. We're going to be doing some uh, uh, jigsaw puzzles with them here, and the students are working to make it look like the same. Mrs. Maccabee at J.D. Parker Elementary. Okay, so what we have here is a 3D mirror scope and Kaylin is discovering how it makes a hologram. Do you want to take the top off? And we can see that it has two mirrors and Kaylin has put a small object into the mirror scope. Two small objects. And she puts the lid back on. And what we can see, if you look closely, is a hologram of the two items that are inside the mirror scope. And what happens is, is the light goes into the mirror scope and bounces off the bottom mirror, bounces to the top mirror, and then back down again and out, making the hologram. And now there's a dice. Hi, I'm Brittany Hinckley. I work at J.D. Parker. And we are here using pentometers, oh. pentominoes to make different shapes. The students are to pick a design they would like to create and they're manipulating the different shapes to make a design. We are trying to make a square right now and you can make lots of different designs with the pentominoes. My name is Denise Harrison. I teach at J.D. Parker and we are trying to work on some math by unscrambling these squares. We have to be able to match up each one of the bodies and the heads with another square that has the bodies and heads that match. And it's very difficult. We've probably been at this together now for, what, 20 minutes? At least 20 minutes, right, and we haven't gotten it. We also have these foam pieces that are supposed to make a cube. So we're supposed to be able to put them together to make these cubes. I tried that for about 10 minutes and I gave up. So, I'm not being very successful, but I'm having a lot of fun. My name is Selena, I'm with the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium, and with us we have brought one of our 3D printers. Um, we use a type of filament known as PLA, and it is actually biodegradable filament. We can print all different kinds of things. Today we are hoping to print one of our little robot guys um, in this yellow filament that we have here. 
So basically what it does is it melts this plastic down, kind of like a hot glue gun, and it'll layer it down layer by layer on our um, pad here, and slowly but surely build from the bottom up one of our little creatures. And these can be used for all different kinds of things. You can use it for tools, you can use it for anything that you kind of want to print. So. It's really fun. My name is Chris, I'm with the South Florida Science Center and today we are working with some light up Edison kits. Um, so these are basically an all up, all in one kit where it comes with all the pieces you need and you just download this iPad app and you can see right here they're building circuits. So it walks you right through it, all the pieces exactly that you need and it tells you exactly how to put them together. It also gives you an explanation of why it actually works. So right now they are building a circuit with a light sensor on it. So as he covers up the light sensor, it turns out the light. And you can also reverse that. That way when it gets dark, it turns on the light. So it's a really versatile kit that we have here. My name is David Schaefer. I'm the assistant principal at Port Salerno Elementary School. And the students here are working with potential and kinetic energy to design a roller coaster with the wood blocks and get their ball to move down the path. Hi, my name is Julie Bukowski. I'm with Palm City Elementary School. I'm the science teacher. The kids here are learning about potential energy and kinetic energy with this activity using a Euler's disc. Hi, I'm Danielle Green. I'm a first grade teacher from Crystal Lake. And right now we're doing design building. Uh, the students are able to go ahead and use different drill and drill bits to come up with different designs and um, manipulate them and experience what it's like to use different tools. your time at our elementary district-wide science fair. I'm so proud of all of our elementary scientists, kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. We had over 300 boards submitted this year. It was amazing. Thanks for tuning in to Science Kids of Martin County. We'll see you next time.